This is the DJI Mini 4 Pro with RC2 controller and I think it's the best drone for 2024 and I'm going to give you 10 reasons why I believe so and I'm also going to give you 5 reasons why it may not be the best. here from drone and tech review please consider subscribing we are almost monetized i need a few more maybe a dozen more subscribers so it will help us out if you do so 10 reasons why i believe this is the best drone for 2024 and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through it quick with respect to your time so number one is the ease of use this drone is the easiest to use basically you just open it up turn it on, turn that controller on with the screen and boom, press two buttons and you're out flying. And not only are you flying, but you're flying safe. You're flying with complete control with all the aids that you can turn off. But to get you started, this is the best beginner drone and it's also the best enthusiast drone. Number two reason why it is up there is it has full obstacle sensing. Just like the more expensive DJI drones, this one has all the sensing from front, back, side, and bottom, and it can process it as well. So it's gonna keep you safe. Not foolproof, little thin wires it cannot see, but for the most part, it's gonna get you flying safely and you won't be too concerned about your investment even as you're learning. Number three reason why it's the best is because of the video and image quality. Let's face it, these are now really camera drones meant to capture yourself and your adventures or of the environment. And it has a really good camera. So tiny, but it has a three axis gimbal that is excellent. It has 50, 50 megapixels of photo and 4K with 60 frames per second. It has a very uh, good aperture that can see through the night. Night shots are impressive. It has a raw format, both in image and video, D-log format. So it can do it all. You can put some ND filters. It can shoot vertically. It can see way up with its gimbal and way down. Really impressive camera in this machine. All right, number four reason is subject tracking. Let's face it, subject tracking is important because you want it to fly itself. Not going to fly itself completely, but when you put it on a mode, you want it to follow you, you want it to circle you, and this one can certainly do it with the best of them. Even their $5,000 drones don't do it any better. And so it has all these patterns that will capture you like a rocket, like a, 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 a helix. And, but the most important one is subject tracking where it will follow you. It can follow you from behind very well and with the new modes it can follow you from the side or automatic it can go in front of you and it will decide which mode to follow you is best for the environment number five reason is quick shots and master shots so these are pre-packaged flying modes let's face it if you want to fly this and capture you at the same time it's very hard because you have to fly the drone and aim the camera all at the same time and that's best done with the drone and the computer and this has a lot of modes and with obstacle avoidance, you can do them safely because it has, it's rotating around you. There might be trees and poles all around. So you really need obstacle avoidance and this one has a good one and it can do it all its patterns. It can even play some audio when it's done, notify you uh, where it is gonna go on the map. So really easy to use automatic modes. Number six reason why this is awesome is because there is an available battery so this one they claim 31 minutes and they do have a, another battery that fits in the same slot uh, that has like 50 51 minutes uh, it's about a hundred bucks and it really gets you out there with all your missions and it's heavier so it puts you over the 249 gram limit but really there's no compromise to the flight you know even though it's a little heavier the flying the speed the uh, agility is all exactly the same. Number seven, reason why this is so compelling is because of waypoints. Waypoints are flight patterns. So you can define a flight pattern uh, where it's gonna go, 
uh, on the map and even and you can there's several ways to configure it and it's very easy uh, with their system you can also instruct the camera where to point at key points and how to behave while it's going from point a to point b and finally you can save these flight paths the number eight reason is it is backed by a company that is a powerhouse that keeps introducing new products and new drones. They even introduce new power stations to work well with the drones and charge them effectively. And they have a suite of handheld gimbals and microphones and a lot more products to come. Number nine reason is they have a program called DJI Care which is drone insurance and it is reasonable so you, this is about a thousand bucks and you know you're concerned when you fly over water you fly through the trees that you're gonna crash it you get to get it hung up on a tree so DJI Care is about 79 bucks uh, for two years and you can replace your drone twice so that gives you the peace of mind uh, that you could really get active with this drone and not be too scared uh, that you're gonna lose it or break it. And finally, the number 10 reason is the battery. I've never seen a company with so much battery technology in these things. So these are fast charging with USB-C, but they are also intelligent batteries, meaning uh, when you charge them, if you don't use them after a day, they're gonna discharge themselves to a safe level in about 95%. And if you don't use it after five days, it's gonna go to 60%. So really preserve your investment. You know who else does that? Electric cars like Tesla. <laughs> it's so advanced uh, that they are ahead of the game and they can do that effectively. Okay, so that is the good and that should be enough information for you guys to go run and buy this. But to be well-rounded, let me give you some cons that I've observed over the last year on why this thing may not be for you. Maybe why it's not perfect because no product is. But number one reason is the price of $1,000. So 959 you get that battery. Now you're at 1050 before taxes. And this, that's a high price. It's like, and what's happening, it's like Apple, uh, Apple iPhones because they have the latest technology and very little competition, they can price whatever they want. There's lower priced drones, but really those are just their old product. They're trying to peddle them as beginner drones. No, that's just the old stuff. Like Number two reason why this is not so compelling is they lie about their runtime. The runtime they claim for this is 31 minutes. And when I flew it on a hover with no wind whatsoever, it only flew 23 minutes. Uh, the DJI 2, the old one, even beat it with 25, 26 minutes. So it was even weaker than its cheaper cousin uh, that claimed, you know, less time. Uh, Number three reason why this doesn't hit the mark is it does not have obstacle sensing at the higher speeds. So they claim a high speed of 35, 36 miles an hour, which is awesome. This thing is an agile machine. But when they talk about obstacle sensing, they go, oh, no, 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 no. 13 miles an hour, you have obstacle sensing. Like, what happened there? Who, who decided that? And why is that not in the documentation? So understood, you know, maybe they couldn't process the information well enough, but you know, there was, it's such a huge caveat that it deserves to be stated that the person should know. I bought this for mountain biking. You go, hey, 30 miles an hour, obstacle sensing, that's good for me. And then, cause that's about how fast I go on a downhill and, and lo and behold, it can only follow me on the uphills. Number four, when it comes to subject tracking as well, is it can only follow a person or a car. Person or a car. And that was like a revelation to me. No one ever said that. And why is that the case? What is going on? You know, isn't AI or the obstacle sensing good enough or image tracking good enough for that? But I think they just decided to program these two things. So I want it to follow me on the bike. I can't have it follow the bike. I have to be I have to be on the bike. Luckily, I'm always on the bike, but I always wanted to follow my, my RC cars. So that's not even a, a, a car. They consider that a toy because the size is wrong. So you can't even follow that. You wanted to follow your dog or an, an animal. It can't, it can't do that. Not only can it not do that, it's not even allowed to do that. So, you know, a real, a real miss there, either in the programming or the communication to the users of what it can actually image track. And the last reason why this may not be so awesome is restrictions. So there's something called geofencing and it defines where it can and cannot fly. And every time you do a firmware update, they do 
more more restrictions so uh, and if there's a new law they're gonna they're gonna put it on your existing drone uh, based on the the latest firmware that you download uh, the other thing is their involvement with the Chinese government uh, everyone is afraid that the government is gonna take all the data and and, and use it for their purposes so and, you know and DJI is such a dominant manufacturer that now the U.S., every week there's talk about banning DJI in the United States or in other countries because not of the fear of DJI, but fear of the Chinese government. So that's a cloud, a black cloud looming over everyone's head. But that being said, still the best product, still may be the best product for you. For me, I'm going to keep using it and, you know, uh, it, I'll see what developments come up and I'll deal with it then, but still... You know, it serves me uh, in my daily needs and my entertainment. Thanks a ton, everyone.